Uh, please say the name and roll number for the sir. Uh, sir, my name is Gopal Krishna Rautra and my roll number this year is um, 313. Okay, now without uh, giving your uh, name and roll number and your home site, uh, give me a simple introduction. Uh, so, I currently am working as headmaster BC High School Rampur, which is situated in Niagara district. And as far as my educational qualification is concerned, I have completed MS in physics for education. Uh, so this is, and my hobbies include teaching and also listening and reading techniques. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Yeah, so, uh, Tell me something about this Chandra Shekhar. Sir, uh, uh, Shiva. Yeah. Lord Shiva. Sir. Uh, sir, the story related Chandra. Uh, he Moon on his head to get um, uh, sorry, sir. I'm not able to recall the story. Sir. Uh. So, for the student has been named the uh, great educationist and also a social reformer, has done many educational uh, uh, initiatives and structure initiatives. In Uh, sir. And why not physics? Uh, sir, psychology was uh, uh, I, uh, when I was doing my BA, psychology was also part of education. Uh, while uh, reading that, I, uh, my interest for psychology developed, and, uh, and the syllabus when it is concerned to o OPSC. Civil Society examinations, the syllabus of uh, physics uh, actually vast. As I am also in service, they uh, opt for the yeah, jobs now. So, uh, from 2011, students have been associated at different levels of so That's the that the Exactly. Uh, yes. Sir. Of, uh, what is the name of the school? Rajendra Chandra of So, he is the front board. Front board. Also. Yes. So, Already you are the Supreme Court, yes, sir. So now, suppose, suppose the most of the main smart, you and one of your friends go to the selected for the center. So both of you are in the same market. Sir. So. And now, based on the part of the interview, the result will be uh, permanent uh, government job, and sir. Uh, your friend on the other hand, he is uh, still employed. Okay. Sir. So, at least three more reasons why we need to select you and not him. Sir, I have already uh, experience in this job, and it's also currently the current job in which I am in, both education and administration also. 
so i have experience administration so it is one of the reasons secondly um, in education i am dealing with with also people so in the administration also i am going to deal with the people so it will be uh, an add on to this and the third reason i think uh the traits i have the personality traits i have may be better suited to that job so uh, uh, thank you very much for your experience as uh, sir so, uh, are there any uh, children with special needs in your school there friends sir seven students are there sir thank you no, three of them are intellectually disabled and four of them differently different physical deformities like some vision losses two of them are vision losses and uh, and two are uh, orthopedically handicapped okay. and uh, the children with disabilities and challenges there are any so no use actually uh, some of them below 70 they are all below 70 iqs so they may get uh, able to do basic functions like eating and dresses but uh, while it, it comes to teaching or learning they have learning difficulty a lot of learning difficulties so as far as uh, in our abilities we train them just to do basic calculations and make uh, and write basic things alphabets and so on so, uh, how have you uh, staff told me that, like, are they trained or uh, trained for that? Uh, what are the guidelines of the government uh, so, related to special education? So, Sabha Sikhya Abhijan actually, uh, it, it recommends that every school should have special teachers, those who are specially trained for it. But as far as now, no, very less schools are there, those who include special teachers. In our school, there is no special teachers, though some of the teachers have taken some in-service refresher courses to deal with such situations, but they are not uh, so they have not such specialists in dealing with it. But we are trying to give as much as our abilities. Uh, what are the three most pressing problems that our uh, primary and school uh, uh, teaching is facing in this way? Uh, sir, uh, at first, I would take uh, the use of courses uh, because uh, now the secondary schools have been transformed and they have all the technologies like smart boards we are using and uh, internet in uh, facilities also there. But the primary in the primary level it's lacking so i think integration of technologies in the primary level itself uh, would make difference and secondly uh, the teachers those who are already there uh, are not able to integrate with the visual audio visual learnings so it may be difficult to uh, uh, to have their attention the attention of the little kids for a long time with only activities and only textbooks and thirdly i would say uh, the infrastructure related problems that we have we should have benches and high decks for all uh, for primary schools also but in primary grade we have don't have any specialized in class infrastructures and also uh, some subsidiary infrastructures also lacking Technology name. Technology. Okay. Technology name. Oh, gadgets. Or gadgets. Innovations. Gadgets. And also science. So. Uh, 
Sir, I think in such situation, uh, I would think in which way the people or the students at the end will benefit more. So I will take uh, that part. So, the Commerce region. Uh, the schemes are there. But there are many people. They are not able to get the social schemes. Schemes. Their children mainly get dropout from the schools in the middle. In the middle. So, but uh, there is a minimum cost to send the children to school. They should have food in or. Uh, they have the books, books they are providing free. In price, drop, uh, I think 5 to 6 percent. The drop increases as we increase the level. The gross element is 45. If we will talk about the uh, upper primary, is like 91 percent. Then it reduced to 80, 83 percent in secondary. And in higher secondary, it reduced to. 53 percent so mostly when the, they're providing free education and all the free schemes are for the elementary stages so the, uh, poverty is the first region if we talk about the second region i think uh, the attitude of the parents they think only teaching only reading a, a second school won't suffice to get a job so they, they think that if uh, work some here, so they will get a better living. So they are um, more uh, facilitated to present the children work or learn some skill uh, without sending to school. What are the steps that the government is taking on according to what more can be done? So recently, in, uh, uh, back uh, four or five days, a new scheme has been launched, uh, Madhu Singh Hattakarcha Yojana, where the SCSC students will get five per annum in class nine and class eleven. So it will be definitely useful in the secondary school. Chhatra Chhatri Paridhan Yojana last year launched, which provides free uniform to secondary class nine and class ten students. These schemes uh, will be helpful in retaining. Sir, uh, when I first took the examination in 2020, there was two optionals, education, uh, where uh, psychology was there, education is also there. But these two we can't take at a time. So in the few in the past so I've seen the past friends, I also took uh, from my elders, those who have already 
giving this examination. So they told me that psychology will be better. And I myself went through the syllabus and find it in, found it interesting, as it was a major part of B. So I thought it will be more scoring. And I, as I have more interest in it, so I took that. Uh, so, uh, so, the first two, the rewards or punishment, what we are giving after a after we observe uh, the required uh, response, the response what we want from the children can be positive or negative. If it is positive, it is as in terms of the punishment. Talk about schedules in your uh, the rest get used to it, but if inter inter and uh, irregular uh, response, however, that uh, when input will occur, so such and uh, it's better result for any response. So, uh, so the has been twenty 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 one. It pools with uh, great. We talk about uh, if I talk. District which I'm posted, Niagara District, almost areas could connect my school. Yes, and uh, like uh, wireless, wireless broadbands like Zio and Airtel. They are providing wireless broadbands also, which is uh, a special fonts for fonts from who can get a connectivity and also richer internet uh, connection. The technical opportunities, but the uh, main problem lies in the uh, telecom uh, infrastructures in the rural areas. So if we so if we were to uh, provide the internet connections to the schools, then uh, the schools will all, may also get this kind of the digital uh, divide uh, like the transform that those are implemented in the uh, level. If this could be the primary levels also, could be more right. Suppose uh, there is a 
So, uh, some type, some type, uh, uh, project which includes uh, collaborative learning and learning. In collaborative learning, we divide the whole class into some group students. So, so in uh, like giving such any project. Uh, also do in uh, contributing in on their parts so if you include the students in such a group where the students all be more interact between them and uh, and uh, uh, contribution so it will uh, make both uh, it will make him contribute to the uh, in all in knowledge and also recently all the So, I think uh, I'll first look up to the supply chain and the storages uh, uh, makes the uh, makes the uh, producers uh, most of the time uh, it would just, just the lack of proper uh, supply and storage to sell them sell the producers so at first these two should be looked after in structure uh, logistics or uh, this uh, add to their uh, better production, I think. Also supply to the market. Sir. Sir. Like uh, uh, all the mem members would uh, country and think uh, which I think uh, look after the uh, more power given to the collector to and uh, if, if this uh, if a particular a particular I think there should be a separate tribunal to decide which place belongs to the board or not. But the addition of the members, I uh, think uh, it's a welcome government. And suppose you
Sorry, sir. I'll take that. Sir. Seventy three, what is the Canada? Canada, no, sir, sir. So in general, what is your view about naming the institutions of cities Sir, uh, if you'll see historical perspectives, uh, uh, it is important to get pride of, of uh, previous generations what they have done for our country or uh, for the nation. I think uh, renaming the places or any institution, if we take only in terms of getting the pride and uh, remembering the people and their contribution, then it's OK. But if it takes much more of the economies, then I would suggest that uh, if, if we have many economical, uh, economical uh, you know, Extend uh, economical uh, things to pay, so I think uh, it should be avoided. But only in terms of if, if there is not much spending, and uh, by only for sake of remembering our ancestors, you know, we may change the names. Okay, the the inclusion of ten will be there, but get a uh, guaranteed pension of half of the last pay. Old pension scheme, old pension from the employee side. So it is uh, as uh, as like the old pension scheme, but there would be deduction of ten employees total salary and uh, in the last or uh, the old pension scheme the last month's pay will calculate final pension payment system uh, average to account the pay i think it is a definitely a, a welcoming step from the government the previous new pension scheme did not have any guaranteed pension the employee after retirement it asked a pension which is, uh, which is half of the last way help any government Realization of same sex sir. sir, I think it is uh, really welcoming as uh, uh, everyone should have the freedom to choose as their uh, as their needs or as their life. But realize uh, should also as our society as far as open to some so i think uh, should be taken but for now we may i think in my opinion may postpone to some extent so that 
टू टेक so i think uh, today constructivist approach is the uh, most followed for all over the country and all over the world i think where the students act such as give them opportunity to and find some in generalize is to a uh by jean piazzi approach uh so last question of the situation is sir So, government wants to have schools there because the local population there. Okay, so they have as engineers and someone to join the boys. On optimizing education that the uh, despite this spread by the hours. So, what they at the same time, they uh, sir, sir, in most of the tribal dominated areas, their main fear is. Uh, that they are, they are teaching some foreign things to us. So if you will integrate their own culture and language in language, we get the and uh, examples, all the things that the that included in the textbook we draw from their uh, culture not another step would be integrating the community members the community and uh, So uh, now we uh, open the feedback. Sir. So one more important is that you know, uh, I can a line of sight and who for after of the teacher log in the room. Yes. Oh, the tone answer the teacher. More or less. Thank you. It's great. I'm going to go to the